this is Carol, and today I'm going to show you the past meetings page. We added some uh, new stuff here to help you with your productivity. So we would like to share with you. So in this page, you are able to filter uh, the view of the meetings. Uh, for example, you can view all meetings here, meetings that you archived, meetings that are owned by you, that you actually record with your note taker, and meetings that were shared with you, and the uploads, meetings that you uploaded here, audios or videos. Uh, so here we have the full view of all meetings. In case you are using the productivity, uh, the collaboration uh, here with team sharing, you are able to view all your team's meetings in case you have uh, the sharing functionality to share all meetings automatically. So here, for example, when I see my marketing team's meetings, I can just come here and check the meetings or sales team's meetings. I can just come here and check all the meetings. Okay. So here have the ability of viewing uh, my team's meetings and much easier. Also here, I am able to check another thing that's called sessions. So you can create sessions here that uh, works like um, works like folders. Okay, you can have multiple tags here, multiple sections, and work like folders. So for example, I can drag and drop here uh, this meeting to demo or an onboarding. I can drag and drop this one. This is a demo here. So every time I click on demo, I'll check all the demos there. Uh, so by dragging and drop the meetings, you are able to move meetings to another folder and find them whenever you want. Okay. So in case you also want to add, you can just come here, edit tags, and you can add another tag in case you want to, for example, this was a demo, in case, even if it's inside a phone number, it was a demo about something else. And then you can type there what this meeting was about this, and then you can type here. And you can also use the um, search bar here to help you with uh, searching for a meeting, uh, depending on the subject, meeting title, participant, you can just search from here. And it will help you with uh, all your meetings here to be very, very much organized. Uh, another thing is that in case you want to copy and paste a meeting, you can just click here and just paste whenever you want. And in case you want to share the meeting with someone, so I just click here and type if I want to share with a team where, or with someone else, I would just share. I can also share to another tool that I have connected. Okay. And also select the access. So by default, all meetings will be restricted uh, to the ones that actually participate or inside invitation. But you can also change to anyone with link or a private meeting, which means that only you can access those meetings. Okay. And then here we can copy the link the same way that I did here. Uh, and you also find out different things here. I think it's three dots. You can rename the meeting. We can also add it to those tags that I showed you. Rebrand the analysis, something that's very important in case you forgot to change the template or change the main language. You can rerun the analysis. Archive or delete meeting. Remember that once the meeting is deleted, it'll be deleted across all database and you cannot recover it. Okay, so one last thing is that you can chat with your meetings. Uh, in case you use Slack, you can chat with your meetings and get insights, get help with follow-ups, uh, get coaching advice from the assistant uh, to evaluate your call if it was positive or not. Uh, so this is the past meetings page, the new past meetings page. Uh, if you need more guidance, we have a guide here to help you out. Bye-bye.